2003 Mini Cooper S in electric blue. As you can see, if we just do a quick spin around the whole car, it is all the same color blue. Quite often with these electric blue cars, when they get painted, they, uh, they end up with slightly off color matches and they look a bit funny and odd. Whereas if you can see on this one, all one color, all correct. Has had a set of uh, five spoke Lenzo alloy wheels fitted on it. Um, and it does come with the optional driving lamps and stripes. Obviously the white roof with it being a Cooper S, you, you've got the contrasting roof. Let's start with the bodywork. If we start on this front driver's corner, it's all nice and tidy. If we look down this side of the car, you can see it's nice and straight all the way down. All the plastics are good. Not dried out or cracked or anything like that. The wheels have got some curb marks and things on it. Um, but they've got four good tyres on them. But they have got some curb, curb marks and things like that on it. So it's up to you whether you refurb them or you put the original ones back on, whatever you want to do. Coming down this driver's door, got a very small, in fact we haven't, that's a bit of dirt, which is not that off, there you go. It's missing the little trim piece from over the top of the, the lock, everything's still there, it just should have a little chrome circle on it. Wing mirror's all nice and clean, plastics going down the side of the car are good. It's rear quarter's all nice and tidy as well. It's not really any dings or dents or anything at all on it, really good. Again, this wheel needs a, a, a bit of a paint up. Um, the tyre is good, all the glass on this side is nice, quite often this trim will bubble up but that's really good. Plastic trim on the front here is nice as well. The roof is lovely and straight, it is just starting to rain here but other than that you can't see, there's not a single ripple or dent in that, really really good. There's no stone chips on the front either which is nice. Moving round onto the rear, so one of the common areas on a Cooper S is you'll get some rust along the bottom of these tail lights uh, and across the tailgate. It does have it in the usual spots on the tailgate, the bottom of the lights on both sides, lovely and clear. What happens is moisture gets trapped in there. Uh, there is a little bit coming through this leading edge here, uh, which actually I've not seen it do it there before. It's pretty unusual. And it has had an aftermarket exhaust system, which comes out the side as opposed to the center. So you do have the cut out in the center as well as one to the side, but the rear bumper, nice and clean. You've got a little scuff here and there, nothing major. Obviously those little bubbles of rust that we've mentioned. And there is a small mark on the corner of the bumper just there. Looking down this passenger side again, nice and straight. Around the filler cap's all good. We've got a mark in the, in the where the door's been open on something there. And a couple of little marks just down the bottom there. Which actually are cleaning off to be fair, so ignore those. Little chip in the wing mirror there. The rest nice and tidy. Coming around on the front, quite often these stripes will dry out and crack, but they're both good. No problems along the bottom of the windscreen or anything like that. Headlights, as always with the Cooper or any form of early Mini, they need a polish. But the rest, all nice and tidy. Both fog lights are good. Quite normally they'll fail. So a bit of a mark here where it's been dinged on something. But other than that, not a massive amount to worry about. Spec-wise, this one's quite good. We've got the leather interior. It's got the Harman Kardon stereo. The Patina uh, trim. It's done 133,000 miles. If you check the description, we'll detail what we know as far as service history and things like that go. It's also got the uh, the aircon, so the largest heating controls, and it has a Pioneer aftermarket stereo fitted in it. This driver's seat, a little bit of wear on the bolster there, which is exactly what you'd expect for the mileage, but no funny smells, no nasty stains in the headlining, no sign of any moisture or anything like that. Rear bench is lovely and tidy, lovely and clean in there. Um, I've just driven it just to get it to here to do the photos and the videos. Uh, it drives really well, actually. Clutch is good, which is always a troublesome issue because it's a bit of a pain to do a clutch on one of these but actually the clutch is fine no crunching or anything like that and i believe it was driven to us as well nice and clean on this door card here passenger seat we've got a little bit of wear on the on the bolster but overall pretty good it's got a tire pressure monitoring system as well i'll have a look under the bonnet so this is the 1.6 BMW supercharged engine, obviously not like the later Peugeot Turbo, the early supercharged ones they want to have, they're pretty bulletproof. Um, obviously clutches the sort of area you look for and, and blows from the manifold, but it doesn't seem to have issues with either that I can tell. In here, nice and clean. It's got a blue hose onto the airbox there, but it is the standard airbox and everything. It looks to be relatively standard apart from that. We'll, uh, we'll get it started up. I'm going to remember where we put the keys. There we go. Warning light wise, we've got a light on for the handbrake, which obviously if we 
the handbrake off, that comes off. Other than that, no other warning lights. Nice and smooth. Obviously a bit louder than normal because the exhaust, but it's not horrendous. It doesn't drone or anything like that. So there you have it, 2003 Mini Cooper S. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.